हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल इग्नू डी एन एच ई ऑनलाइन क्लासेस माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आयुषी वी आर स्टार्टिंग डी एन एच ई वन न्यूट्रिशन फॉर द कम्यूनिटी एंड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड टू ब्लॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ ब्लॉक थ्री मील प्लानिंग इन दिस ब्लॉक वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू प्लान अ मील फॉर डिफरेंट एज ग्रुप्स लाइक इन्फेंट अडल्ट अडोलसेंस प्रेगनेंट एंड लेक्टेटिंग वीमेन प्री स्कूलर एंड स्कूल चाइल्ड दिस इज द बुक इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर यूनिट्स लेट स्टार्ट विथ यूनिट सेवन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मील प्लानिंग एंड मील प्लानिंग फॉर द अडल्ट टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस यूनिट आर इंट्रोडक्शन मील प्लानिंग वॉट आर एम्स ऑफ मील प्लानिंग एंड वॉट फैक्टर्स आर टू बी कंसिडर्ड इन मील प्लानिंग वॉट आर आर डी एस फॉर अडल्ट एंड मील प्लानिंग फॉर अडल्ट एट लास्ट क्वेश्चन फ्राम दिस यूनिट इंट्रोडक्शन इन प्रीवियस यूनिट वी स्टडीड अबाउट बैलेंस डाइट्स अ बैलेंस डाइट इंक्लूड्स द राइट काइंड ऑफ फूड्स इन द राइट अमाउंट्स एंड प्रपोर्शंस सो एज टू मीट द न्यूट्रियन नीड्स ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल फॉर होम इट इज प्लान अ डेज डाइट कंसिस्ट ऑफ three main meals breakfast lunch and dinner if we ensure that each meal is balanced the day's diet would be balanced as well you need to emphasize on few factors while planning balanced diet that is socio cultural economic and regional framework of an individual so this practical and useful exercise of planning acceptable and adequate meals is called meal planning apart from these factors we will learn about more factors that play role in meal planning such as individual preferences saving on time and labor and providing variety in the diet adulthood In this unit we will learn how to plan balanced meals for adults. Adulthood is last phase of life cycle of an individual. It begins from age of 20 years and extends through old age till the time of death. Great variation exists in the nutrient need of an adult depending on age, sex and activity pattern. we will study about this in second part of this unit first let's learn about meal planning an individual who carries the responsibility of providing meals these are usually mothers in indian society she has to take decisions regarding what to serve how much to serve how much to spend where to shop from how much to buy how to prepare food how to serve meals at what hour to serve meals and so on all such decisions are a part of planning meals definition meal planning can be defined as a simple practical exercise which involves applying the knowledge of food nutrient requirement individual preferences to plan adequate and acceptable meals in other terms meal planning means planning for adequate nutrition meal planning does not only mean to select right food to help meet the nutrient needs but it also concerns with preparing and planning attractive and enjoyable meals for all persons meals must taste good smell good because food is seen before it is tasted the eyes have a role as well in food acceptance meals must look good to be tasted to be enjoyed for performing this task the planner must be knowledgeable and as well as imaginative and creative this is an art of skillful blending of foods in terms of color texture and flavor therefore meal planning is an art which develops through thought and inspiration meal planning is a skill which improves with practice aims of meal planning first is fulfilling the nutritional needs of family members 
second is plan meals within the family income that is make maximum use of money available in best possible way next is aid in proper purchase preparation and service of food good quality of food purchased and prepared in such a way that nutrient loss is minimum next is economize on time labor and fuel that is it requires lesser time least labor and least fuel consumption next is provide variety in the diet by making proper selection of foods from within each of the three groups next is make meals appealing and palatable by proper selection of food in terms of color texture and flavor next is to provide nutritious meals taking into account individual preferences persons likes and dislikes should also be considered while preparing meals last one is plan meals in advance so that any pre preparation required can be made and also the leftovers from the previous meals can be economically utilized factors to be considered in meal planning first is nutritional adequacy in a family there might be different individuals like a child an adolescent an adult a pregnant woman or an elderly person each of these individuals has his or her own specific nutrient requirements but the basic aim while preparing meals should be to fulfill the nutrient need of each individual second is plan balanced meals including food items from each of these food groups in each meal can ensure balanced diets next is economic consideration the income of the family and the amount of money available for food per person influences the kind and amount of food to be included in each meal next is food acceptance individuals like and dislikes religious considerations socio cultural practices are some of the factors that influence an individual's acceptance or rejection of certain foods so while planning meals one should take these factors into consideration and then accordingly select the foods next factor is food availability the availability of food items in a particular region influences meal planning for example in coastal regions fish and other sea foods are easily available and cheap these foods form an essential part of the diet of people residing in the coastal region a knowledge of fruits and vegetables and their season of availability would help us to include them in the meal when they are at their peak quality and at an affordable price next is meal frequency and meal patterns in different households the number of meals consumed in a day vary some may take 2 to 3 meals per day or some may eat 5 to 6 meals a day the timing of meals may also vary the income activity pattern physiological state and age of individual influences meal patterns so keep these factors in mind while deciding on the meal frequency and meal pattern while planning meals for an individual next is economize on time labor and fuel this point is particularly important for the families where the woman is working or where income is limited let's take example rati is a working woman she may not get enough time to plan or prepare elaborate meal so she would probably prepare simple meals that are easy to cook as well as save time and energy 
she instead of preparing individual items like rice dal vegetable and curd in a meal she may cook only one dish meal like khichdi or two dish meals like vegetable pulao and curd rice and sambar and chapati and palak dal the need here is to prepare simple meal which are nutritionally balanced let's take another example rani belongs to low income group limited resources may affect her choice of food and menu she would rather prepare one dish meals like poshtik roti or missi roti which take less time and fuel to cook another way is by planning menus for several days in advance next is variety in meals no one like to eat the same kind of foods every day serving variety in meals becomes an important aspect in planning meals so while planning meals one should include attractive color combination of food while making it appealing a combination of flavors in the meal will make meal more enjoyable a combination of texture in the meals from soft to crispy and crunchy will make meals more appealing use a variety of preparation method like grilling steaming deep fry boiling or baking foods can be varied further by serving them well garnished or by adding butter or cheese last is satiety value meals should be such that they have a good satiety value that is it should relieve hunger and give a feeling of satisfaction and fullness fat and protein rich foods have high satiety value as compared to carbohydrate rich food hence some amount of fat and protein foods must be included in each meal so as to provide adequate satiety value and prevent the person from feeling hungry before it is time for the next meal here we have completed first part of this unit we learnt what is meal planning its aims and factors to be considered while meal planning now we will study in this block about meal planning for different age groups like adults pregnant women infant etc i have made this chart you can see this on screen we will study meal planning for these age groups adult individuals who are 20 years or above are called adults pregnancy it is of 9 months divided into 3 time trimesters lactation it starts with birth of baby and extend up to 1 or 1 and a half years infant from birth to 1 year of age preschool from 1 to 6 years of age school child from 7 to 12 years of age adolescent from 13 to 18 years in this unit we will learn about meal planning for adults the term adult refers to an individual in the age group of 20 years and above the period beginning from 20 years and extending through old age till the time of death is considered the period of adulthood the entire period of adulthood can be divided into two stages first is young adult a person in the early years of adulthood representing the stable state in life when tissue breakdown is not predominant the body retains the capacity to adequately replace the worn out tissue second is older adult a person in the latter years of adulthood this period is characterized by excessive breakdown of tissues and cells the body can no longer compensate for tissue loss adequately now let's see the physiological changes during aging first is kidney functions during aging there is marked reduction in number of functioning kidney cells which affects 
kidney functioning and as a result the body waste are not effectively removed from the body second is digestive tract functioning number of taste buds present in mouth decrease with aging which reduces the sensitivity to taste due to reduction in amount of saliva secretion swallowing is made difficult due to loss of teeth chewing becomes difficult due to decrease in amount of acid and other digestive juices the food is not digested and absorbed properly the food stays in stomach for a longer time because of which a feeling of fullness and heaviness is commonly experienced muscles of digestive tract become weak and the movement of food in tract slows down leading to constipation last is skeletal system bone is made up of two minerals calcium and phosphorus with aging there is some thinning of bone tissue due to loss of these minerals if there is an abnormal thinning of bone tissue will lead to development of osteoporosis a condition in which bones become weak and brittle next is rda for adult we studied earlier in unit 6 what indian reference men and women stands for let's revise it once more in a detailed form indian reference men age group is 18 to 29 years weight is 60 kg he is free from disease and physically fit for active work on each working day he is employed for 8 hours in an occupation that usually involves moderate activity when not at work he spends 8 hours in bed 4 to 6 hours sitting and moving about and 2 hours in walking and active recreation or household work next is indian reference woman age group is 18 to 29 years weight is 55 kg she may be engaged for 8 hours in general household work in light activity or in other moderate active work apart from 8 hours in bed she spends 4 to 6 hours sitting or moving about and 2 hours in walking or in active recreation or household duties this is rda chart for adults for both men and women whenever you will plan meal for an adult plan according to this chart ICMR does research and keep on changing these values from time to time so always search for the latest updates this is an old one i have a latest chart of 2020 if you want you can ask for it and i'll send you that chart you don't need to memorize the whole chart but yes remember the value of energy the influence of activity level on rdas for adults based on nature of work and level of activity different occupations are classified into three categories sedentary moderate and heavy sedentary meaning light work who does most of the work sitting at one place using only his hands and head examples are teacher tailor typist clerk housewives who have household help second is moderate meaning neither too light nor too strenuous or hard work who involves use of both hands and feet continuously but not very strenuously examples are postmen housemaids servants fishermen agricultural laborers housewives who does most of the housework themselves manually last is heavy meaning hard and strenuous work who is involved in hard or strenuous work using 
hand and feet very fast and continuously for a long period each day examples are rickshaw pullers stone cutters mine workers and coolies the nature of work influences the nutrient need a man doing heavy work needs an additional supply of energy as compared to a man doing moderate or light work so as the activity increases energy requirements requirements and vitamin b needs also increases the influence of body size composition on rds for adults the nutrients need of men and women varies the energy and protein requirements of women is lower than that of men because of basic difference in body size and composition in men body has more active tissues such as muscles and women has more of relatively inactive fatty tissues the muscle tissue requires more energy for its activity bmr of men is higher than women and hence the energy requirements of men increases rdas for proteins are linked to body weight an adult requires 1 gram protein per kg body weight men weighs more than women of the corresponding age and hence have higher protein needs the iron requirement for women is more than that of men this is because to compensate for iron losses through menstruation in the women in the reproductive age group the requirement for all other nutrients is same for both men and women the influence of age on rds for adults with aging there is a decrease in body functioning and performance and body metabolism is lowered this reduced physical activity creates less demand for energy you can relate this by this chart with increase in age reduces the rds for energy the requirement for proteins iron and vitamin b remains same because these nutrients are required to compensate for wear and tear and for excessive breakdown of tissues common in old age calcium intake increased during old age help in preventing calcium loss and development of osteoporosis meal planning for adult there are four basic factors for planning meals nutritional adequacy availability acceptability and income while planning meals these factors are to be considered next is whom are we planning for you need to identify first that the individual is old or young man or woman his or her activity level and income level which nutrients are of particular importance during adulthood nutrients are required basically for the maintenance of body functions the diet should have sufficient amount of all three categories of nutrients that is energy giving body building protective or regulatory group depending on age sex and activity level of the adult the amount of nutrients required from each of the three categories would vary like an older adult would require less energy giving nutrients as compared to a younger adult a woman would require less energy giving and body building nutrient but more iron as compared to a man of the same age and activity level a heavy worker would require more energy giving nutrients than a sedentary worker which food to select to provide a nutritionally adequate and a well balanced diet one should include at least one food item each of the three food groups the day's diet for an adult would essentially contain a cereal one or more pulses at least one green leafy vegetable other vegetables like carrot brinjal etc some seasonal fruits fats and oils in adequate amounts and sugar or jaggery what should be the meal pattern daily routine of adult influences the meal pattern 
meal timing number of meals and kind of meal plans need to be adjusted according to their work timings common meal patterns are group a consisting of breakfast packed lunch and dinner group b includes breakfast mid morning meal packed lunch tea and dinner group c includes brunch packed lunch tea and dinner and group d includes bed tea brunch packed lunch tea dinner and bed time lunch and dinner these are two main meals consumed in a day ensure that these two provide at least 2/3 of total day's calories breakfast and rest of the meals together should provide the remaining 1/3 of total day's calories packed lunches are commonly carried by working adults the packed lunch must include at least one food item from the three food groups brunch brunch is a heavy breakfast it is a heavy meal consumed in the morning including more of fat and protein rich foods it provides adequate satiety value and prevent person from feeling hungry before it is time for the next meal dinner is one meal which the adult can eat at leisure and hence it could be an elaborate meal but it should not be heavy next is what are specific considerations for an older adult due to, due to loose teeth chewing becomes difficult so include only soft well cooked mashed or finely cut foods in diet all hard foods with skin or seeds should be avoided unless they can be softened by ma- mashing or grating due to impaired taste sensitivity pleasure of eating is partially lost the meals for the aged should be made more attractive and appealing by including a variety of foods and color combinations so as to encourage or motivate the elderly person to eat any strongly flavored foods or foods with a strong smell or totally bland foods should be avoided next is particular attention has to be given for including protective foods that is fruits and vegetables since these foods are frequently overlooked or omitted old people commonly complain of having a feeling of fullness or heaviness in such cases small meals at frequent intervals should be given so as to help the process of digestion any fluids or fatty foods or highly concentrated foods like sweets should be avoided constipation is a common complaint during old age to overcome this problem include plenty of fiber rich foods or water and fluid in diet a chart of points to remember is given in book go through it it has do's and don'ts for older adults here we have completed this unit these are the questions read them and prepare answers also go through check your progress exercises in the book in next video we will study unit 8 meal planning for pregnant and lactating women